um, I'm Nicole Spoboda. Um, I am a third year rower. I am a master student here at SPU. Nicole, you just finished the Head of Lake Regatta, a long race over three miles. Uh, how do you feel about the performance? Yeah, I think that our boat held together pretty well. Um, we have overcome a lot over the last week. Um, some lineup changes literally last minute, um, obviously our regatta being shortened. Um, and I think that we handled it really well and really just went out there and gave everything we had, which is pretty cool. Initially, uh, the group was going to row as an eight, and uh, that became a four. How much of a transition is that for you to, to only a couple days notice knowing that you're going to row in a four? Yeah, we haven't spent a ton of time in fours over the fall, um, mainly because of just limited numbers and things. Um, but we had one practice on Friday, and we went out there today, and... Um, as we'll talk about in a little bit, the delay, it was kind of just like we kind of looked at each other, laughed and said, let's just do this and do, you know, we know how to row. We've done this before, um, but let's just pull it together. And again, we, I think we surprised ourselves at how well we did. Great. That course is 5,000 meters, difficult enough uh, in a head race in an eight, even more so. How much more difficult is that in a four? Yeah, um, well, it's a little bit longer, like, in time, because your splits are typically lower because you have four people versus eight. Granted, it is a smaller boat, but just, it's very different. Um, and again, with only one day of practice and not being enforced a lot over the, the fall, it was, um, it was, it's just different. Um, but, and again, it adds some time onto your time. Great. Uh, as we had an eight-oared uh, crew that rode and, and did well in the early racing, eights, finished up the early segment, and then it was time for the fours, but there was a break in the action for about an hour. Tell us, uh, tell us why there was a break and what your crew did during that time. Yeah, um, we were at the start, well, not there was a section before the start line, but we were up there, ready to go, and the guy's like, okay, we're going to get you started. And then all of a sudden he goes, okay, there's a barge, we have to wait for it. And it was a little crazy because we had crazy current and wind, um, and there were boats not hitting each other, but very, very close, so a very stressful um, situation, but our coxswain, along with you know our the um, our crew, came together and got through it. And then they basically just had us row in circles. And they're like, yeah, ten to twenty minutes. It ended up being almost an entire hour. <laughs> um, and they're like, when we see the barge, we'll let you go. And then they had us pull up, and then we went through almost the exact same thing again with the current because they're like, okay, we can't let you go. There was a lot of unknown. Um, we were very cold, and you can only warm up so much once you get to that point. And are rowing in circles and sitting again. Um, it was definitely the coldest I've ever like physically gone into a race, um, but again, pulled together and surprised ourselves. Once you finally do hit that start line, and uh, this is head racing, so you go in, in intervals, you're the first four out of the gate. Uh, what is your feeling, and how do you feel about the race after? Yeah, our big thing today was like, don't let anyone pass us, and we, we made it through without that. Um, we did come in second to University of Oregon, um, but by seconds, and I, um, again, in the head race situation, it's hard to tell. We couldn't really tell. We knew that they came up on SU, but didn't know anything other than that. Um, but, yeah, I think that hitting the start line and being like, okay, we just sat here for an hour. We've wait, you know, we've prepared for this. Again, maybe not in this exact lineup for very long. <laughs> um, but just, we know how to row, and we came together. Great. Uh, let's talk a little bit about yourself. Uh, tell us where you're from. Yeah, I'm from Palm Springs, California. Uh, did you have any prior rowing experience before coming here? Yeah, no, I did not. My um, biggest exposure to rowing before this was my friend went to L.A. and rowed at a community college, and that's about all I knew. <laughs> that's it. And why did you come to Seattle Pacific? I came to SPU. Um, my family's from up here, my mom, and so I was kind of curious about where she grew up, and I do not like the heat where I'm from. You know, 120 degree summers, I was, I was ready to go. <laughs> You might have actually thought about yeah. it. enjoying that easy today. But, uh, so uh, what, uh, what was the process of you deciding to join the rowing team? Yeah, I actually came up here as the volleyball um, team manager. Um, I was helping with them, and I went to Involverama um, as a transfer student. And so I was a junior, and I <laughs> got approached by a couple different girls, and I went to volleyball practice the next day, and I talked to Coach Abby, and I was like, I'm interested in this. And she was like, oh my gosh, you'll love it, and introduced me to Coach Andy at the time, and I was rowing the next week. Great. And how was that process of learning to row for you? Um, it's been challenging. I am a person who picks things up fairly slowly, but once I get it, I'm pretty good to go and run with it. Um, but, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, the group of girls is amazing. I've enjoyed getting to know them and I live with five teammates now, so super special. Great. Um, tell us what you're majoring in. 
Yeah, so I have a math degree. I just graduated in June, and I'm now doing a master's in teaching. Excellent. And your hopes in the future? To teach high school math is the end goal. Good for you. And lastly, um, the fall portion of the season, do head racing, which is single file, more time trials. Um, how anxious are you, I guess, to get started in the spring where it's more Olympic style side by side racing? Yeah, I'm super excited. Racing season, um, I didn't get to race my first season because of COVID. Um, and last year was just super exciting to, you know, get the feelers out and start um, racing. And I'm excited to have what will potentially be my last season out there. Great. Well, thanks so much for your time and congratulations on a great effort this Thank morning. Thank you so much.